Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna continue working on part 5 of this bank. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to finish the kitchen. Now we're we're gonna do is, we're gonna load in some furniture. So here, go to insert load family. And then let's go to furniture. And then we have some tables right here. And what I'm going to choose is this table with the dining round table with chairs. So I'm going to open that and then CM. And then here it's perfect for this kitchen area. So I'm going to add one right here and then two more onto this side. And then I'm happy with the way this one looks. Um, let's go to the meeting room or boardroom. Um, let's go and load in another table. So this one should be a boardroom table. So just a regular or maybe we could use this dining oval. I'm just going to choose the rectangular table. So I'm going to click open cm so to quickly add and then we're going to place it right here and at the same time select that again um, we're going to probably change this to a bigger one so we could do is edit type duplicate and this will be board room table And then here, what we could do is click on edit and we'll be able to change this. So we're going to maintain the height to this one. Um, I'm going to change the width to somewhat around, I'm estimating around 1500. And then this one, probably 3000. And then let's see how it looks on the space, which is, I think this is a perfect size for this space because we're still going to add in some, um, chairs around this one so we need to go back to insert load family and then go back here let's add in a tv so let's go and add tv flat screen click on open cm let's add the tv around here so it's facing the meeting room and then we're just going to think that this is a wall hang tv and then let's change this a bit. So let's choose a bigger size or bigger screen. And then let's go back here again. And then let's add in some seating. And we're going to choose one of the seating here. We're going to use this chair brower. Click on open. And then CM. Override existing CM. It's because it is used for this one. So we're going to do CM and then let's look for the Brower chair. Select that. And we're going to space bar and add it first into the midpoint right here. And then let's add the ones on this side. So first you need to add things on one side first to estimate it and then i believe we could actually make this one wide more wider so i'm gonna put in four thousand we still have space on this side i'm just going to select that and then make sure that this is in the midpoint we could just keep on adding this so i'm going to do this copy add one more right here and then copy again and let's add one more right here so now what i'm going to do is select here and then draw access mirror we're going to check the midpoint it's showing select all of them right here so hold on shift first 
to select all of them and then release the shift and then release the um, mirror and then here just do the draw axis as well so mirror draw axis so now this one looks really nice um, enough boardroom enough space for the boardroom table um, I'm gonna do is I'm going to add in some storage so here we have credenza and click on open CM let's add the credenza right around here and I want it side by side this one we could put this one on a different elevation so we could put this one around maybe 700 height because it's in the wall and as you can see we need to align this one into the wall as well so that it's quick exactly there and then we could just move this one somewhere right here and then we could maybe put this one in the middle a little bit more so that looks much better on that space and then at the same time we need to add some tables around here so let's load more families so we have cabinets credenzas uh, we need some tables so let's go and load the table right here I believe this one is already preloaded so I'm just going to double check it's already preloaded um, so we need to CM and then here we have the credenza we need to change this one to the desk so I'm gonna add the desk and then put it right here into this room load family add some chairs so seating we need to add the chair which is this one with arms cm and then add it right here then after that load again different chair we could maybe add this chair cm uh, this is the same chair but we need to add in maybe the same corbo um, actually let, we're, we're going to select this one instead regular chairs like that add it here pull this one a little bit so we have something that looks like this and then we have we need to add some casual seating right here so load family This one, let's add in Corbo CM. Let's add it right here and then right here. Make sure that this is aligned properly at the back of the wall, not over the wall or inside the wall. We just want it to be looking much better. But at the same time, this is something that it's weird that it's not able to align it from this side even though I'm tabbing it so I'm just gonna leave it like that that's fine as well and then we're going to just add it like that and then load family let's add in some tables um, let's add a coffee table CM and then add a coffee table like that that's good enough for me and then you could add in more storage so for example you go here for storage we have drawers right here different size different height CM add a cabinet door you want it to be long enough 
So you could just add it like that. And maybe a different shelvings for this one. CM, add shelvings right here. So you're just trying to fill up every inch of this so that it looks much better because having having something like this and doesn't have anything it doesn't look good so we're just filling it up i'm going to copy the same one right here to have it over right here and then we're going to add in some waiting areas right here and then some more chairs so we could add in seating let's add some sofa we could use this cm on that we could have a set of this one we have this one already so we could add I'm going to add this one right here. And that's good enough. CS on this. I believe we have different size. So I'm just going to select that and then spacebar on that. So to change orientation and then different setting again, different chair. For the waiting or maybe there's a, a much better chairs so it looks like that's the best thing that we have so i'm going to add more chairs like this onto this wall and then we're just going to maintain the distance to make it standard so I'm happy with this um, this side is done already um, let's go right here onto this side um, we could add in more chairs similar to this CS um, we could add chairs on this side and then I'm just going to copy each and every one And then I'm going to maintain that distance. So I'm going to copy it from here so that I don't need to worry about the distancing. And then this one we need to add on this side as well. Copy. And then add it on this side. We can squeeze in what more. So we can have it here. Copy add it onto this side and then at the same time add more chairs co we need to space bar this or we need to rotate ro to rotate this and then rotate it to 90 degrees and then grab it from here so to give it more space we're just going to add somewhere right here and obviously we could add in more if we want to so we could add a bunch right here later on once we finalize everything and then we're going to basically uh, make it really look like um, chairs for um, people that are waiting for tellers and the companion of the people that goes to the Mac here let's go insert again load family and then we have furniture system here we have a standing desk i'm going to use that standing desk this one i like the way that it looks and then we're going to use all of them add load all of them so select one scroll down hold on shift select the bottom and then press ok do you want to load all everything yes so cm on that 
we have a small one right now I'm going to make it bigger so I'm gonna choose the one that looks good onto this side so what I'm gonna do is let's check this I want it to be a little bit bigger a little bit wise a uh, wider so I'm gonna check this one so around this size so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add it on this side looking like this so add it there this one should be added there and then I'm going to mirror this because I want it to be on the other side so here select that we need to mirror mirror it on this midpoint this one selected again we could mirror this onto this midpoint and then we could add in a different chair so load so go back here go to furniture and then go to seating so I believe we have more so we have this executive chair CM and then let's add it right here so here under loads department we have somewhere like that and then obviously we're going to add in more chairs so I'm going to use the same chair right here to add it two chairs on both And then I'm going to select all of them, copy, and then copy it from this side. So that looks much better. At the same time, we're going to copy both of this because we're going to have some cubicles right here from our teller side. So I'm going to copy this, CO. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to copy this too and then move them MV to move and then move it so that it's looking like this and we're going to have something that looks like a cubicle on this side. So here we have our area for our tellers and their superiors right here looking after them and then we're going to create this side off here we're going to basically pull off um, something different at the same time I'm going to add in a bar height stool so go to insert load family and then we're going to make this chair this one the stacking chair we're gonna um, represent this as a bar height and then we're going to just add one right here at the moment without anything doing we're just going to add that so that it looks like it looks like that bar height and then we're going to basically create everything else once we're done here I'm going to load family and double check the door for the ones that I'm going to use here so here at commercial I'm going to make make it double door this one looks really good so 1800 by 2000 that's good good enough DR and then I'm going to uh, add this door in the middle right here and then there will be safe here um, what we could do is we could represent annotate detailed line and I'm just going to add a line right here and then we could press the, rec the rectangle to create something like that and just to create the effect that we have the one that usually you turn something like that simple but good enough detail 
enough detail to have that so this is all metal and then we could add in shelvings right here so we're basically showing off what it looks like right there so some vaults there and then shelvings in the middle So I'm happy with this. Let's leave it like that for now. And we could just uh, follow through later on. Uh, let's give it more room. And maybe we could just flip this one. So every time you go to the vault, you have a door, secure door. And then we have this one to secure it. And then another vault to open it to get in. Thick layers, everything is thick. So let's stop here for now and continue on the next video. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.